and now we'll pick up with part two. Here's a large 14 inch diameter um, charger or tray. It's in the All Star pattern by Marshall Field and Company. The pattern is similar to Kensington by Hawks. Heavy, thick blank, um, eyebrows and hop stars primarily make up the design. Uh, it is $29.50. Then this is a beautiful two-part low-profile punch bowl cut in the Columbia pattern by Blackmere. Truly one of their finest designs. Very unique cutting characterizes this pattern. It's almost a vesico with the unusual hop diamond um, chains around surrounding the hop stars. Gorgeous piece, 14 inch diameter, impressive in display, and it is $29.50, which is a very nice piece. Great triple miter trellis, cordial stem, very tiny, has the um, faceted knob, hollow teardrop, and the lower portion of the stem tapers out. Fully pattern cut foot, 295. That's a great little stem. Uh, rock crystal wines cut by J. Hoare. They're shown exactly on page 12 of the black catalog. Uh, this reportedly was their prize winning design for one of the world's fairs. The stem is a barrel stem. It's also engraved and the foot is engraved. I think I have three of these and they are $1.25 each. Here's a single tall wine by Hawks in their carnation pattern. It is signed. Uh, Gravik design. Nice copper wheel engraving. And this is a single and it is only $35. Has a faceted knob and a square base. Really nice piece. This is one of the nicest ice cream trays I've ever had. It's an incredible blank, heavy, thick. It's done by Jay Hoare, has a lot of pattern elements from various patterns. Um, the center is cut like Meteor. Uh, outside, the outer edge has the split field of cross hatching. Great three dimensional Hoare hop stars. It's a big one, it's 17 and a half inches by 10 and a half inches wide, but it's very impressive. Uh, 1250 on that one. Probably one of the finest quality pieces you'll ever see is this large banana or orange bowl by Taylor Brothers. It's cut in their Tayloria design, which was named after one of his daughters. The blank is exquisite. The cutting is impeccable. It's one of the most underrated patterns in cut glass has very finely done hop star clusters, very ornate vesicas, great oval hop star center, and it's a large size. It's $24.95, but if you saw this in person, you would understand why I'm raving over it. Always desirable, Queen's Pattern by Hawks. The classic trumpet vase has a hop star base, it's 12 inches tall, excellent quality, and it is only $7.95. It's in excellent condition. Another Queen's piece is this tall wine. It's a blank that I've never seen before in person. Nicely cut, tall, hock, I guess you would call it. Um, faceted knob, star cut base, it's signed. It's seven inches tall. And I have three of these available, and they are $3.95 each. A nice rare form. Here's a personal favorite. I've had one of these in my collection probably for 20 years. It's the Newton pattern by Mount Washington, 9 inches in diameter. The main pattern motif is the clear square blocks. They're cascading in a sort of a spiraling effect and then there's spiral starred buttons uh, alternating with the blocks. Fan cut border 
it's a really neat piece. It has a fancy uh, triple miter flashed Hobstar center, very unique. Uh, the only place I've ever seen the design is in the Revy book, and then I think Spillman mentions it in her uh, Mount Washington PowerPoint book. It is $4.95. Another terrific ice cream tray is this Jehor Carolyn pattern. Another heavy, impressive blank, cut to pieces, lovely cane cutting, which adds a lot of brilliance to this piece. Both of these trays are, are phenomenal. Carolyn's a very desirable, very sought after pattern, and it's $17.95. That's probably the first ice cream tray in Carolyn I've ever owned. Here's a seldom seen design. It's Libby's number 83. It's shown exactly in the large ACGA catalog on page 137. This one's seven inches tall and it's cut on an exquisite blank, deep, wide miters, uh, similar to Ellesmere, and hand polished. It's an excellent quality piece and that's a bargain price at only 125. Here's one of Tuthill's finest geometric patterns. In the Tuthill book, it's referred to as the Rosemere and Hopstar pattern. Very finely cut, great clear blank. It is signed, uh, eight inches in diameter. Very scarce pattern. I think I sold this piece to the collector about 20 or so years ago and I wound up with it back. It is $14.75, very difficult to find those. Beautiful splash of color in a collection is this cranberry cut to clear decanter set. It's a oval punty or thumbprint design, um, matching pattern cut colored stopper, solid color foot on the matching stems, which are an hourglass, hollow, and fluted. Great set, only $11.95. Another very desirable pattern by Hawks is this Oriental Bull. It's eight inches in diameter, cut on a stunning blank, cut to pieces. The uh, Hobstar cluster, Hobstars, which are in an oval shape or a vesica shape, and then they have a, a, a shell pattern in between, sort of similar to Tuthill. That is $14.95. That's a must have in a collection. There's another great 1-1 one -one pattern. It's Aberdeen by, um, by Jewel Cut Glass. I've never seen this blank before. It's quite impressive. The, I like the wide base and the repetition of the pattern. It's clear, clear glass and very well cut. That picture is $14.95. Starting on the top, here's a big Two bulb electric lamp. It is cut in the Chicago pattern by Chicago Cut Glass. It's got the long spear prisms, um, step cutting in the center, full pattern matching cut base. It's a 12 inch dome and it is 3500. That's a really nice example of a large lamp for a collection. Another piece out of my personal collection is this Libby Diana. 10 inch plate. Quite striking. The pattern was made for this form. It's got wonderful Hobstar eyebrows, lots of feathering to add brilliance, clear button Hobstars, just excellent quality. And it is $18.95. Have a pair of magnificent candlesticks by Hawks. The Bases are sterling, and they're, they're Hallmark Hawk Sterling. Great big pair. These are hard to find, and much less by Hawks. Um, as, as I said, they're 15 inches tall, and the pair is $22.50. It's the only ones I've ever seen like this. This is a stunning 10-inch plate in rosacea by Tuthill. It is signed, has a slight wafer base, very fine floral engraving, great brilliant Hopstar gallery. This is a stunning piece. I'm on the fence about sticking this one in my collection. It's really nice. Next to it we have this rare form square pitcher. 
It's by Mount Washington, cut in the Russian pattern. Um, fluted, unusual angled handle. Very unique early piece. It's a really rare form. And it is $12.75. This is the largest two-handled base I've ever seen. I don't know what it weighs. It's unbelievably heavy. The handles must be a pound each. They're thumbprint cut handles, step cut top, has a sort of Greek key motif above the geometric designs, and it's one of the nicest two-handled bases I've ever seen, and certainly the most impressive size and bulk-wise. And that is $22.50. And the handle attachments are perfect, which is hard to do on these. And then next to that we have a wonderful old Irish by Meriden ruffled rim footed vase. It's got all the bells and whistles. Great clear blank, excellent cutting, sharp to the touch, starred scalloped foot. It's 11 and a half inches tall and it is $8.95. And that ends part two.